Behind the Scenes at the Airport. With support from Birmingham Airport. With around half a million people flying into and out of Britain's airports each day, there's plenty of things to do to make sure that passengers get to the right flight and planes take off on time. With so many planes landing, taking off and moving around the airport, they need to be controlled to ensure they keep a safe distance from each other and don't cause traffic jams. Now, whilst cars on a road can be controlled using traffic lights, lights aren't very practical to control planes. So that's where the air traffic controllers come in. So how do they keep everything running smoothly? Let's find out. Well, firstly, as air traffic controllers need to see all around the airfield, they need to be high up and so are found in a control tower. From up here, they can see everything that's going on. Well, normally... Fog and storms can make it hard to get a clear view. Luckily, although the team do make visual checks, they don't have to rely on their eyes. They have very high-tech computers to track the movements of planes and radars too which can see everything that's moving on the airfield and also in a zone around seven kilometers in the air above the airport. Radar sends waves out and when those waves hit objects, the returning signals give the controllers information about what it is, how fast it is moving and in which direction. In addition, anything moving into the airspace around an airport has to check in with the air traffic controllers. This is flight ZM256 requesting permission to taxi. Planes can't move around on the airfield or in the air above it without getting permission. To make the job easier, teams will often be in charge of different parts of the airfield. Let's check them out. Firstly, there's the apron. That's the area closest to the terminal where you'll find planes parked up at the gates. Zoom Air is pleased to announce flight ZM256 is ready for boarding. Look, passengers are stepping on board that plane ready for their holiday. When it's ready to go, the pilots will ask air traffic control for permission to move onto the taxiways. This is flight ZM256 requesting permission to taxi. Air traffic control to ZM256, permission to taxi is granted. Please continue from the gate to the taxiway. Taxiways are kind of like the roads of the airfield. They have markings and guidance lights, like roads do, to help planes stay safely in the right place. But unlike roads, the air traffic controllers will be in charge of who goes where and when. Controllers will line planes up for takeoff and will often group similar sized planes together. Once the controllers are happy with the lineup, they will give each plane permission to take off. Ah, it's nearly time for Zoom Air to take off and so it needs to move to the last area, the runway. This is air traffic control to ZM256, you have clear for takeoff. When the runway is clear of the last plane, the next plane in the queue is cleared for takeoff and he's on his way. Because there will be so many planes getting ready for takeoff, controllers are often talking to dozens of pilots at the same time, giving each of them permission to move from the apron to the taxiway, to the runway. And don't forget that as well as taking off, other planes will be in the air and wanting to land. Let's see how they use air traffic control. This is flight ZM256. We are in our final approach to the airport. As the plane gets near, its pilots will make radio contact to the air traffic controllers for permission to land. This is flight ZM256 requesting permission to land. The air traffic control team will check to see if there's a space. It sounds crazy, but planes have to take turns and kind of queue in the air. They're not standing still, but fly around in smooth circles around the airfield until they have permission to make a descent. This is called a hold. When it is safe for the plane to land, air traffic control will give them permission. This is air traffic control to ZM256, you are clear to come into land. Once on the ground, the plane needs to head to the terminal and a gate. But which gate? I wonder if you can guess how the pilot finds out. This is air traffic control to ZM256, please continue to gate 7. That's right, air traffic control again. Their computers can check to see which gates are empty or which will be empty in time for the landing plane to use. With many gates and with planes arriving and leaving every few minutes, it's like trying to find a space in a busy car park. Thank you for flying Zoom Air. We hope you have a safe onward journey. <laughs> a 
another flight over. But there's no time to rest. The adventure might be over for these passengers, but for air traffic control, there's always another plane to help. Will passengers awaiting flight ZM100 please make their way to the gate? Find out more behind the scenes at the airport on funkidslive.com. Behind the scenes at the airport. With support from Birmingham Airport.